Peace at Last by Jill Murphy. The hour was late. Mr. Bear was tired. Mrs. Bear was tired and Baby Bear was tired. So they all went to bed. Mrs. Bear fell asleep. Mr. Bear didn't. Mrs. Bear began to snore. Went Mrs. Bear. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in Baby Bear's room. Baby Bear was not asleep either. He was laying in bed, pretending to be an aeroplane. Meow, went Baby Bear. Meow, meow. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the living room. Tick tock went the living room clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he went off. To sleep in the kitchen. Drip, drip, went the leaky kitchen tap. Hmm. Went the refrigerator. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the garden. Well, you would not believe what noises there are in the garden at night. Went the owl. Went the hedgehog. Meow. Sang the cats on the wall. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the car. It was cold in the car and uncomfortable, but Mr. Bear was so tired that he didn't notice. He was just falling asleep when all the birds started to sing and the sun peeped in at the window. Treat, treat, went the birds. Shine, shine, went the sun. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went back into the house. In the house, Baby Bear was fast asleep and Mrs. Bear had turned over and wasn't snoring anymore. Mr. Bear got into bed and closed his eyes. Peace at last, he said to himself. Went the alarm clock. <coughs> Mrs. Bear sat up and rubbed her eye. Good morning, dear, she said. Did you sleep well? Not very well, dear, yawned Mr. Bear. Never mind, said Mrs. Bear. I'll bring you a nice cup of tea. And she did.